Do you get this? Amen. Explore the future. Don't look at here at the present. No, 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 no. We look at the future. Five years from now, ano ba tayo? Amen. Diba? Amen. We must explore our promised land. Amen. Our future. Look at the future, look at the head. Pray, oh, the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you. Plan to give you hope and the future. A future. So now, let's take this promise and explore the future. Amen. We explore the future. Because God has a plan for you beyond this present age. God has a great plan for us. The church, the people of God, the children of God. God has a greater plan for us. Why? We are great people in the eyes of God. We are greater than John the Baptist. We are greater than all the people in, in the Old Testament. Why? We are children of God. Jesus died for us already. And we receive Him as our Lord and Savior. This is God's plan for us. So we enlarge our faith. We enlarge our vision. We enlarge our dreams. Gusto ng Diyos yan. Hindi napakaliit ang pangarap mo. Pastor Ben, I'm so simple. This is my dream. <coughs> Explore the promised land. The Canaan. Actually, the promised land is from the border of Egypt up to the border of Iraq. They were not able to get Syria and Lebanon and Jordan and Palestine. Why? Because of disobedience. But the promised land given to Abraham, God says, from the wadi of Egypt up to the border of Iraq, that is the land I'm giving you. They're all fertile. Kaya nga Lebanon, very fertile. Tsaka Jordan and Syria, they're all very fertile land. But now they are in chaos because napapayaan ng Israelites. They were not able to get their own possession, their land. It's the same with us. God has so many things for you in your future. Amen. Keep speaking big. Amen. Keep thinking big. Amen. Keep dreaming big. Praise Amen. God and the Lord will provide all the necessary things we need to accomplish our dreams if we obey Him. Amen. We will do great things for the kingdom of God. We will do great things for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Now let's go to verse 4 first. Verse 4. And they said to each other, We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. <laughs> Who wants to go back to Egypt? Nobody. The Egypt is the world. Going back to Egypt is backsliding. They backslide to what the Lord has given them already. Let's choose a leader so we can go back to Egypt. This is rebellion. Amen. Rebellion against God, rebellion against Moses and Aaron. Amen. What does God do to the rebels? On the next succeeding verses, God killed them. Amen. God killed the rebels. You know why? They will serve as hindrance to the promise of God. They will serve as hindrance to the promise of God. If there are rebels in the church, especially the church is on fire, God will remove that rebel Amen. right away. Amen. It's a gobble clay. Instead of us having a clear mind, ang gaganda na usapan, ikaw lagi kang nagbibring ng stress. God will remove you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 We must have a clear mind, have a clear vision of what we want to do. Amen. Amen. So the rebels are always exterminated. You know what exterminated is? Amen. Killed. <laughs> God killed them in the next coming verses. Praise God. Verse 6. 
Kasi si Moses and Aaron, umiyak na lang. Let's go to verse 5. Let's see Moses and Aaron. What did they do? Moses and Aaron fell facing from the whole Israel assembly that gathered there. They cried, Oh God, oh God, oh God! At titigas sa ulo, they're so hard-headed, they should be gone. So they, 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 they kneeled and cried before God. Moses and uh, Aaron. But not Joshua and Caleb. Not Joshua and Caleb. Moses and Aaron cried before the Lord. They cannot solve the problem anymore. May kailangan mag-manage ng cell group, no? Tsaka ng church. Besides, it's difficult to handle people, disobedient people. But if people are obedient, it's good. Amen. Amen? Amen. 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 If people are obedient, there's peace. Amen. Even in the country, di ba? Pag maraming rebels in the country, the country could hardly move on to prosperity. Ang daming kontra sa presidente. There's so many rally ng rally, etc., etc. <coughs> if God is there, they will be exterminated. Right away, exterminated. God will send fire from heaven or, or kidlat from heaven, then God will kill them. Yes. In the Old Testament, right away, God kills those people by the hundreds of thousands. How many people rallied in front of U.S. Embassy? God will kill them. Right away. God is not happy with that. This is not how you deal things. Now you will deface the, the, uh, uh, the emblem of America. No, it's not good to do that. God really wants to kill them. These kind of people, rebels people. So Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, who were among those who had explored the land, they tore their clothes! During those days, when people are angry, they tear their, their clothes. Sinisiran nila yung damit nila. Apa, when you see somebody tore his clothes, you better run away. This is how they do this. <coughs> they destroy the clothes. <coughs> so Joshua and Caleb, they tore their clothes, meaning to say, Galit na kami! We are angry. We are at the peak of our anger. When somebody tore his clothes, they're really gonna kill you. They're gonna kill you. Because of these rebels. Next verse. And they said to the entire Israelite assembly, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly what? Good. Exceedingly what? Good. Good. The promises of God are exceedingly good. Amen. So you be good. Amen. Let's be good, people. All the promises of God are good. The land we saw is exceedingly good. They didn't talk about the giants. Did you see that verse? They didn't talk about the Anakites and the Malachites and the Jebusites and all those people. They are talking about the land. Basketball tournament, okay? PBA or NBA. You know the reason why they are so enthusiastic to play? They don't look at the opponent. They look at the trophy. The championship trophy. They don't look at how many opponents they have. Oh, mahusay ang mga Cavaliers or whatever team is that. The Bulls are good and so on and so forth. No, they don't look at the Bulls. They don't look at the, the LA or so, whatever their name is. They look at the price. Because if they look at the Bulls, especially if Michael Jordan is still playing, they will not play anymore. Right? Amen. They look at the trophy. Not against the opponent. It's the same with Caleb and Joshua. They are looking at the trophy, praise God, not at the problem, not at the challenge, not at the challenges. They are looking at the price. They're looking at the price. They're looking at the reward, praise God. Hallelujah. And this is how a Christian should behave. We know the price. We know the price. We know the reward. Praise God. We know the reward. We know the 
reward. What is the reward of serving God? The new city of Jerusalem and eternal life. Amen. 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 Don't look at the kitchen. Ang laki ng kitchen ng church. Ang hirap din isa. Don't look at the kitchen. You look at the new city of Jerusalem. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. Ang laki ba ng kitchen? It's clean naman. Amen. Amen. Polishing na lang yung finishing touches, but it's always clean. Amen. Amen. You look at the reward. Amen. Joshua and Caleb, spirit, praise God. They look at the reward. They look at the reward. They look at the reward. What's the reward of, of you serving God? The new seat of Jerusalem and eternal life, you will, be, you will not go to hell. Amen. This is what we're aspiring. The eternal life in heaven. On the other hand, God will bless you here while you are still alive. Amen. Positive spirit, positive spirit, positive spirit, positive heart and mind, positive, positive, positive. All the time. Okay, mahina ang loob. Don't be coward, the Bible says. Let's be brave. Amen. Be brave. Be brave. Matapang. Like Joshua and Caleb. So these people are very obedient to Moses. Praise God. Verse 9. Only do not rebel against the Lord. Do not rebel against what God has instituted. The government, the church, the leadership, the military, the policemen, the teachers, the principals, the parents. Do not rebel against what God has instituted. Because the punishment is there. It is God who said that in Romans chapter 13. It is God who put them there. Is it God who put Pastor Mark there? Yes! Is it God who put Kuya Cesar there? Yes! Amen. And the other leaders. Do not rebel against them. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. Amen. And the authorities that exist have been established by God. Amen. Trump won, Trump We don't like Trump, but God likes him. Because he won. If God likes Hillary, he'll put Hillary. Are you getting this? Yes. I don't like the third day. He won. God puts him there. Are you getting this? Yes. It is God. Every authorities that exist have been established by the Lord. Amen. Lord Let's go back to Joshua and Caleb. Praise God. We're about to close. Verse 10, but the whole assembly talk about stoning them. So you see, if you are positive, people will stone you by their criticism. That's stoning. That's psychological stoning. If you're positive, Pastor Henry, they will stone you. In the church, marami nang na stone na pastor. Yeah, there's so many rebels in other churches. Dito wala. Mafia. Amen? Amen. Everybody's good here. Amen. Otherwise, we stone the rebels here, not the pastors. We stone the rebels. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, we don't stone the rebels. We kick them out. Go, go, move to the church. Your configuration is not conforming to our configuration. You just move to another church. Amen. But to God, they will they'll be stoned. So they think of stoning. Caleb and Joshua. Ito nga itong nag-encourage sa kanila. Joseph and Caleb, uh, Joshua and Caleb are the ones encouraging them and they want to stone them. They want to kill them. And then they want to go back to Egypt. They want to go back to Egypt. 
But God always protects. God always protects. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the whole assembly talk about stoning them. But the glory of the Lord appeared. Amen. At the tent of the meeting to all Israelites. So God protected Caleb and Joshua. God interfered. His glory came. The fire came. Amen. Praise God. 